live from the drive in the car. Something different. Just gonna wait till people jump on, wait for cars to come past, wait for someone to complain that I'm in my car talking to a live feed, which is cool. If you're on there, if you're on there, say hi. Oh, cool, the car's turning. Just gonna wait for people to jump on. Ant, how are you, brother? Picking up the action, you are, man. Absolutely picking it up, everyone else who's jumping on. How are you, Jen? I'm just gonna say hi to a few people while you jump on. Sammy, how are you, brother? Keep rocking it. How are you, Vicky? Now, the title of this. How are you, Rebecca? Uh, there's some cool people jumping on here now. Now, the title of this is thrown about a lot, a lot. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. So true, so, so true. And then I, I put it there, when opportunity arises, why do most people dodge at this? Why do most people dodge at it? I'll get to the answer to that soon, but you can look at any example. I'm gonna use an example of the next coming weeks. I'm going to a couple of big events. How are you, Amanda? Chris, legend, getting ripped as always. Nikos, how are you? Oh, this is cool, this is cool. Yeah, I've got a couple of big events that I'm coming Okay, I just had a call. Keep me accountable here, guys. I just had a call come through. Mm. Ferg, matey Fergo, legend, legend. Looking forward to your efforts in the next coming weeks, bro. Keep me accountable here, guys. I just had a call come through. But back to it. Some of the five most people you spend the, the, that, yeah, spend the most time with. At events, events, any of you guys on here would understand the power of events. You don't get five people to spend time with and learn off. You don't get 10. You get people from all different backgrounds, all different parts of the world, all different experience, all different results, all different successes through their model of the world, through their picture of how they've done things. But why? Why do people avoid going to these things? Why do people not want to drop what they're doing and absolutely do everything to do what it takes to get there? Why? I'm going to call it out here and some of my team might just suck up here. I don't care. I don't. It's because they don't want to change bad enough. They don't want the results bad enough. They don't want to get to that place that these people have got the result they want bad enough. They don't want it. It's something I learned really, really quickly. And, and lessons I've learned, I haven't applied everything I've learned to these. But I always make that absolute effort to get there. String things together, make things happen. Because I know that's what's gonna get me there. A lot of people don't get it. They don't get it because they, they've never had it. That's, that's the truth. They don't get it because they've never had it. But why not? Why not get around these people that you see, you see on social media? You see, like, doing videos, whatever it is, wherever you follow them, writing their books, there's some amazing people that come out to these events. And it doesn't matter what company you're with or what you're with. You can be in real estate, sales, whatever it is, network marketing, it doesn't matter. If your company puts on an event and it's got people who have got what you want, why wouldn't you want to go and take that opportunity to ask them, go and mingle with them? They want that. People don't understand that. They want you to go ask questions. They want you to be around them. Why would they learn? Why would they want to present? Why would they want to go through this life and get the result if they weren't going to pass it on? Why would they do that? See, these people that are successful, whatever success is to you or them, they get the result because contribution is massive for them too. And contribution means sharing their knowledge or whatever it is to the people who haven't got it yet, the people who need guidance. The people like you, me, everyone on here that don't don't have it, but we want something so bad in life that we say we'll do whatever it takes. And I'm calling everyone out here. I'm like I am. Because we do shit our own way. And then when shit doesn't work, we're like, we're questioning, well, why aren't we getting there? I'll tell you simple things. If there's events put on you by our company and the most successful people in your company are on, are there, Serious, I've been to events for the last 18 months and they're the best experiences ever. When I started, I was so scared to approach any of these people that spoke on stage. And why? 
why when they've got what I want go and ask them like how did you do it what did you do when you were at my stage when you were scared to talk to people what did you do when you couldn't approach people when you couldn't pick up the phone when you couldn't do that Facebook post when you couldn't get out of your comfort zone what did you do how did you feel what you're gonna find what you're gonna find is they're just human they're gonna tell you the truth and say yeah guess what I was shitting myself you're gonna see that they're real they're not this polished, perfect person that's up on stage who makes everything seem like their life is perfect. They're not. I don't know if you're still on there, Matty Ferg, man, and I'm going to use your example from last year. That was so freaking real. Just a knockabout bloke, ex-AFL, but knockabout bloke, went back into the workforce, done it the hard way. Real shit. Real fucking down-to-earth Aussie bloke. That made the biggest connection for my weekend of that event ever because it was real. So why don't we take advantage of going to see this realness? And I'll go back to it. People don't want this shit bad enough. They don't. You like your job. You like your nine to five or seven to five or seven to six, whatever you work, you like it. You must. You really must like it, and I know. I, I talk to my team in that, and they're brilliant. They're open and honest. A lot of them are doing this because they need to change their job. They need to change their life. They need to make more money. But sometimes, and I say sometimes, you've got to not wait till the pain barrier comes in. Not wait until you lose everything. Not wait until you're that fucking burnt that you actually can't take a risk, that you've got no other choice. Why wait to that? Why wait? Why not just fucking do it now? People have got to stop being scared of getting what they want in life. Because that's what it looks like to me. That's what it seems like. Gab, how are you, man? Awesome that you're on. <laughs> A lot of my team are on here. That's cool. That's cool. How many people on here have been to events? Seriously. There's a lot of new people that um, have come into my network lately and they've never been to events. You ready, Belinda? Let's do this then. Let's do this. Anyone who um, can get their ass to Brisbane this week and wants to join my team too, I've got accommodation, tickets covered, the works. <laughs> Has no choice. We've got some cool people. I want to get your feedback on here, guys. Who on here has been to an event? I don't care what company you work for doesn't even have to be for a company. It might be for a sporting club or something like that where they've got people who have had success in life speak. They've got people who have had success in life who have got results. Results might be they're a great footballer or a great soccer player or a tennis player. Because you know what happens at these events? You know what happens? You get to talk to these people. You don't get to hear them just present. You get to hear their realness. Some of the shit that they don't just put out to the world because they want to save it. They want to save it for you guys that want to make the effort, that make that extra effort, that value their time, that value what they've done in life. These people aren't selfish. They're not. I've got some great mentors and people around me. I've had some great ones in the past. They just want to be asked, what did you do here? Tell me about your struggles. A lot of them don't even talk, like talking about like their, their six or seven figure incomes and that. Most of them want to talk to the real people that are really getting down there and doing things the hard way just to push through, to break out of that, that zone that they're stuck in. I only know this because I make every fucking effort to go to these big events. Every effort. They're like the grand final. So many people in life would rather go and take trips to big sporting events and everything where they can just cheer two teams on to go against each other and fucking kick a ball and celebrate their success for them instead of thinking about their own success. It's true. You see it all the time. People will plan big trips around the world to watch sporting events. What do they get out of it? They get to cheer. Yeah, they might get to meet some great people and stuff, but this is down to it. If you want to make an income, if you want to change your life, if you want to create a legacy for your family, this is so much more important than all that other material bullshit. It really, really is. No one's got any comments here, but that's cool. Throw some questions at me, guys, because I'm going to rock and roll. What do we got here? What do we got here? Hashtag don't be scared, Riddler. 
Kristen, how are you? Lewis, all the way over there in Argentina, how are you, brother? The big thumbs up. Tui, I hope I'm seeing you at Momentum then. Tui, I hope I'm seeing you there. But let's get real, guys. Let's get real. Serious. It's like anything. If someone had... Ah, legend. We've got someone superstar. Come on. Two events on in Brisbane this week, Steve. Maybe same ones. Nah, we might be at the same ones. I'm happy to mention. We've got Momentum. Momentum. Then we've got... Uh, what's the next one? Celebration. Pretty bloody huge. Now, I've got Mr. Cam Stewart jump on. I don't know if you're there, Cam. Talking about events, brother. Now, you're all across this. You're in the real estate game. You're in the networking game. you got coaching. you got so much going on. If you're there, brother, give us a thumbs up. Because this question absolutely suits you. Someone of your experience. I've gone quiet there. Interaction means action, peeps. Unless there's a crazy, crazy delay. Crazy, crazy delay. I'm just going to kick back. Or I'm going to end it. Because I know what I'm doing this week and next week. I'm heading to Brisbane. Anyone who's in Brisbane wants to catch up. I'm probably going to be doing some cool stuff um, from a, a few of the things I've learnt over the last 18 months. Um, a few of my mates that I've made over the last 18 months are down there, coming down from the Sunshine Coast. Mr. Jay Arnold, who's jumped on board. Liam, how are you? But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to get around these people. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to be scared to approach them. I'm going to go up and ask the questions like, me, I've been like this the last six months, and these people that have got the result, they've had patches in their life that do that. And a simple, simple thing that I learned a, a while ago is, once you hit a plateau or you get to a place where you're not sure of what to do, the easiest shortcut, the easiest shortcut to do is ask the people who have been there before. If you wanna take one thing from these, don't worry about events or anything, that's just in life. Ask them the question, what did they do to get through these tough times? That has served me so bloody well. Glenn, how are you, brother? You're a funny bugger with some of your posts, bro. <laughs> I've got to say, it lights up my day from all the seriousness. But simple thing there, guys, simple thing. Mr. Cam's not on. He must be driving. He's a busy man. <laughs> I'm getting some cool messages. Anyway, guys, I've got to rock and roll. I've got things to do. It's a very, very big day. Getting messages come through here. I appreciate you've been on. Anyone who's been on here, I've seen Matty Ferg on there. Looking forward to catching you this week, brother. Anyone who's going to be in Brisbane, I absolutely look forward to catching you. Send me an inbox. Um, DM me. Um, I definitely will make the time to catch up with a lot of people down there. Like I say... Two amazing events, amazing people from around the world. <laughs> Later, skater Liam. Nah, Grant, man, we're just beginning, brother. We're just beginning, brother. But we've got to do these. You know the power of events. You've been to a few. And it's even down to just meeting people, guys. Even down to approaching people that, that have got what you want. Simple. Someone's got the body you want. How do they get it? What do they eat? What do they do? I did a great training the other day. I was going to wind this up, and the guys in my team would know I did a great training the other day on, on modeling yourself on people for success. That's what this is about. A lot of these people I'm going to see to do some personal development with, some coaching, some mentoring, whatever it is that we do over these next couple of weeks, I model myself on some of the steps they've taken. And like I say, I did a great training in my team the other day on this. You've got to do these things, guys. You've got to do them. If you haven't got what you want in life, you've got to do something different. Do what these guys have done to get what they've got. And twist that so many different ways. But I've got to rock and roll, guys. I've said goodbye about 10 times. Have an amazing day. See you later.